Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to this Bit Punch playthrough of Yakuza 4 Remastered. This is Michael Matt, and we are going to be clicking that button and loading the game and hopping back into Chapter 2. I have coffee, I have water, I'm ready to play. Uh, wow, the loaded right in. Okay, let's, uh,. Go take a nice stroll, it looks like. Actually, let's talk to her first. See if she's got anything for us. She does not. So. Look around this office. Pretty cool, messy little office. Nope. Don't need to save it again. doors this way. See you later. Alright, we were really close to Serena. Make sure my levels are coming through. They are. I'm going to move this a little bit. Just might get you out of frame. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we have. Let's take a look at the map. So we've got some down arrows. What do those mean? Hmm. I'm not sure what they are. Okay, well we have a phone call. Hello. Akiyama-san, it's me. Is now a good time? Yep, we're all in the clear. What's up? There's something I gotta talk to you about. You mind if we meet up for a few? Not at all, we're at. How about that building in Theater Square? You know, the red one down the alley? We'll have some privacy there. Anyway, it's the one right across from the movie theater. I'll be waiting up on the roof. Roof of the red building. Got it. Perfect. See you there. Sounds like I should head over to Theater Square. There we go. We got some question marks now. So now they're open. Two, three, four, five, six. We have six. Let's check out this one here. Oh, Chief, I'm so glad I caught you. Why? What's up? There's a customer who wants to see you. It seems kind of important. Can you come back to the office? Uh, well, let's go do that. No. Yeah. Is it down this? It's almost identical to how you used to get into Kidu's, uh, or into the back of New Serena. You have a customer waiting. The one you told me about on the phone? Got it. Thanks. Apologies for the wait. So, tell me, what brings you here today? Are you Aki, Akiyama-san? You provide interest-free loans here, is that right? Indeed I do. I said there are a few conditions. When I ask your name? Shiobara, uh, how much are you willing to lend out, or usually? Mind telling me why you need the money first? That'll help me decide whether or not I should give you the loan. Well, not too long ago, I drove my printing company into bankruptcy. I'd inherited the place from my father, you see. But this time I figured I'd start my own company from the ground up. You ran your father's company into the ground? It made money, but not enough to get out of the red. In the end, all I could do was downsize, but downsizing isn't always the best option, you know? 
the company was already on its way under. If our only available option was downsizing, wouldn't it have been better to just pull the plug? I think it's cowardly to fire people just to try to keep a company artificially afloat. So I took responsibility for my bad management and let the place go bankrupt. No hard feelings all around, right? I see. Spoken like a typical spoiled heir. The old company doesn't matter now anyway. What's important is getting this new company off the ground. So, will you lend me some money? I'm not against the idea, but why come to me? Can't you get your bank to cover it? Yeah. I guess I didn't pass the review. They asked me what business the company would be in, but I hadn't decided yet. Something online, that's for sure. Still haven't figured it out, huh? huh? You need planning documents too? Don't you loan sharks usually skip all that formality crap? No, it's just... Never mind. How much did you need? Let's see. How about three? No, five million. Why so much, though? Now that I think about it, you probably have no idea how much you really need. Eh, what the hell. I only need a five mil. No interest. No collateral. Seriously? You're not pulling my leg here? But first, you're going to have to pass my test. Sure, bring it on. I don't know what kind of test you're talking about, but I, I'll do anything you ask. Alright, so you want to start a company, be its president? In that case, I'll need you to... Find three people to be your business partners and bring them to me. Business partners? Three of them? Is that really all you need? Yeah. People who would be happy to help build up a company. What do you think? Can you do it? What are you talking about? I've got tons of friends. It won't take long at all. I'll be right back, okay? Better get that five mil for me. I couldn't help but over here. Are you really going to lend money to that piece of work? He's nowhere near fit to start a company. You think so too, huh? To tell you the truth, I agree. He's all talk. You see a lot of that nowadays. So you never planned on giving him a loan in the first place? Then why bother with the test? Oh, I'll lend him the money, but only if he passes. I'm going to teach him it's a rough world out there. But what if, I mean, just on the off chance? Don't worry about it. A big mouth like him could never hope to pass one of my tests. You know, Hanachan, I mean... A man might have lots of people he calls friends, but I doubt many of them would actually be willing to whisk her livelihood on him. He says it'll be a cinch to find three of them, but unless he's especially trustworthy or charismatic, they won't be on board. <sighs> Welcome back. So, where are those three partners? They just don't understand. I told them they could easily pull in a hundred million a year if they just left everything to me. Mm. So you failed the test. It's not my fault, it's theirs. They're just too blind to see it. After all those times, they begged for an invite to my parties, too. Parties? My online game parties. You mean you haven't heard? They're kind of a big deal. They call me Hurricane Salt. I see. Well, it hardly matters at this point. We weren't able to pass the test, which means our loan discussion is over. My apologies. Hanachan, would you mind showing Chubara-san here out? It's time for him to go. Of course. Right this way. Wait just a second, you're telling me you know all about me from one lousy test? Who do you think you are, a god? Please, I'm counting on you. Give me just one more chance. One more. Please. I'm begging you. Let me try again. I swear I'll take it a whole lot more seriously this time. We have other business to attend to, you know. But it doesn't look like you're leaving anytime soon. So, alright, one more time. Bring me the business cards of 10 company presidents. Any kind of company will do. 10 business cards? Is that really all you need? Corporate CEOs, presidents of small factories, take your pick. Just find 10 of them, get their cards, and bring them here. Are you sure? That sounds pretty easy. I mean, I used to be a president myself. I can get 20 or, 30, or even 30 cards. No problem. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Well, good luck. I'll see you soon. Okay. Chief. Usually send somebody like him well on his way by now. He's just so astoundingly clueless. Don't you want to see how it all ends? Not particularly. Look at it from my perspective. You always forget to collect on your loans. 
Too many boneheaded customers like him, and I'll be up to my neck in extra work. And I appreciate every last ounce of work you do, Hanachan. Don't I always treat you to a delicious meal at the end of every month? I guess you can do what you want. It is your company, after all. If it were you, Hanachan, how would you go about collecting 10 president's cards? Hmm. Well, I'd probably pop into an office building and talk to company presidents directly. A frontal attack, huh? Good answer. As for me, I'd probably grab hold of a president or two, ask them to take them to a print shop, and have them make me some cards. A little aggressive, maybe. But, yeah, that sounds like something you'd do. Nothing wrong with that. Hell, I could even have a print shop make up a bunch of fake cards if I wanted. Your straightforward method requires courage, while mine, while my way calls for quick wit. Regardless, I doubt he's capable of either. Welcome back. So you got those cards? I only have one, my father's. None of the CEOs I knew at my company or even in this town. Are there any company presidents here? It's all businessmen and restauranteurs. Actually, you're looking at one. Sorry if my appearance deceives you. Well, then... Since you weren't able to pass the test, I'm afraid I won't be giving you the loan after all. Hanachan, would you mind showing Chu by our son here out? It's time for him to go. Hi. The test was set up all wrong. I can do better, I promise. Please. Alright, but only one more now then. Invite a hostess out after the club closes and bring her back here to my office. A hostess club? That's it? I don't know. Oh, come on. It should be a piece of cake for a guy like you. What's the problem? I just don't have the cash. Hostess clubs are expensive. You know, it's a real shame. I'd have all kinds of girls trailing after me if I just had the money. I'd be like the Pied Piper of Camarocho. I guess I'll have to point you over to my friend's hostess club then. You can put it on my tab. The place is called Sweet, over on Pink Street. Just tell them Akiyama sent you and they'll take care of the rest can't do it without money, right? Well, I'm making that particular problem go away. So what do you think? Can you do that? No problem at all. I'll bring you the best hostess in the club. I'll be right back. Okay. Chief, enough's enough. I've never seen you give anybody this many chances. I suppose you're right, but it's all just so interesting. Don't you think? Guys, a walking disaster. Yes. A first-time visitor to a hostess club hardly ever ma manages to invite a girl out afterward. Anybody who will succeed is either rich or smooth talker, but this guy's broke, so so he has about a zero percent chance of failing, putting this off, pulling this off. We don't know that. I mean, he might fall into some crazy beginner's luck. That'd be a miracle. Well, if he pulls off a miracle at a time like this, it'll be the first of many. Luck is just another kind of talent, wouldn't you agree? Maybe, but even so, if that guy gets his very own miracle, then he's one of the most talented men I've ever met. Okay, welcome back. That club is no good. The girl at my table only said a few words and clammed up almost immediately. Isn't it her job to get the conversation going? I'm the customer, the paying customer. Yeah, paying with someone else's money. Yeah. Seriously, though? Any other club and I would have had him eating out of the palm of my hands. It all boils down to a bad club. Even if we were to assume it was the, the club's fault, you still didn't manage to pass the test. That means I won't be giving you a loan. Hanachan. Do your thing. Okay. Okay. Do you want a chance? No. Alright. I'm tired of having to string along a, a big talking yeah. nitwit. Please, this is it. My very last chance. If you give up on me now, I'm finished. We just leave already. I can build a company. You really want to start your own company? You sure you're been talking about it with yourself? Absolutely. No lies. Fine. Then this is your honest to goodness last chance. You fail, you leave. Got it? I'll pass for sure this time. Here you go. My friend's leaflet company's in the red. If you can get it to turn a profit again, all we need the five million yen. But that could take years. The door's right there if you're not interested. What's it going to be? You in or out? All right, where is this leaflet company, anyway? Paradise Advertising on West Shikafuku, Shichi, Shichifuku Street. Just past the M store. Let me give them a call. Hello? It's a Sky Finance. Akiyama-san, to want to own the pleasure. 
You've been asking for management advice, right? I found just the man for the job. I'll be sending him over your way shortly. Really? Is it? Thank you so much. I'll be waiting. Perfect. That's all up to you. All right, I'll be back. No, just go do it. Are you sure about this? Doing really bad right now, business-wise. Stuck in the red, even though sales remain strong and steady. Yeah, even if sales go through the roof, the expenses are always higher. Which means their only choice is to downsize and cut their... Oh, yep. All they have to do is downsize. And our friend, who would rather see a company die than shrink, will now be forced to do just that. You're a bad man. Call it shock therapy. If he can't do this, he's helpless. Don't you think you should go check up on him just in case? You never know. Well, if you insist. Do you remember where where Paradise Advertising is? The west end of Shichifuku Street? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, okay. Alright. Talkie, talkie, talkie. Let's go. Down. Why do they not want to render me walking down that extra flight of stairs? That's kind of strange. What's this say? Okay, you know what? I'll come back to that later. Maybe. Alright, let's check out this one. I don't have much more to this chapter, so I'm just gonna like do some of this stuff. I don't want a loan from me anyway. You're not the only office in Comoracho you knew. That's not the point. You've been blacklisted. There's not a loan shark in town who'd lend to you now. You don't know that for sure. I'm never doing business with you ever again. Pardon me, miss. Did I hear you having money trouble? And who are you? Not another debt collector, I hope. No, not at all. But I am in the same line of business as that other fellow. A money lender? Then I'd, I'd like to apply for a loan. But why bother? It's no use. It sounds like they've got you blacklisted. Is that right? How much do you owe? I'd say about 10 mil or so. About. So you don't even know how much you borrowed? Loan sharks, credit cards, you name it. I borrowed money from it. What are you getting at? Oh, it's just that you put on a brave face for somebody so deep in debt. Nice clothes and all that. It made me wonder. What's the point in looking all pitiful just because I happen to owe some people money? This is how I live after all. I see. You're something else, you know that? You certainly caught my attention. Are you hitting on me? No, it's not that. Look, if you're truly ready to make a fresh start, come to my office, Sky Finance, on Tenkachi Street. Sky Finance, I've heard of rumors. My name is Shin Akiyama, and you are? Shoko Mu. I don't know. Well then, I hope you'll decide to pay me a visit. Goodbye. Alright. Making connections. Did I go back to the office. Did you hear about the murder? I heard this dude got shot like five times. Probably just some Yakuza the city's crawling with them. No big deal, really. I don't know if I'd say that. The cops haven't found the killer yet, right? Maybe we should get off the streets till then. Probably. Just wondering. I send like a hundred emails a day, so listen when I tell you this. Keep your email. Okay. Yeah, so. Yes. So that's my destination. He's trying to get around. That's great. Hmm. So check this out up here. This must be like a scripted fight or something, because that was 
That's crazy. She might do, yes. Oh, no, no. This one is far too unscrupulous. Are you here to find the perfect hostess, too? Come on, take a look. There's something about these girls is enough for me. Going to an actual hostess club? Perish the thought. Why, if I met them, the perfect image in my mind would be ruined. It's not a matter of preference, but no principles. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. What is... What's the side story then? Don't give up now after all you've only seen three of them. Yeah, and each one gave me an open mouth stare. My best jokes flew right over their heads. I'm telling you, it isn't working out. It's no use. I'll never manage an article of Hostess Club tips and tricks. Excuse me, I hate to interrupt. If you're not going in, would you mind moving aside? We'll get out of your way. Wait, aren't you... From the Mars Fighters comedy duo. I'm a big fan of yours. See? I told you you have plenty of fans in Kanto. Are you here for work? Hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. This fan of yours seems to know the nightlife around here. Maybe he can tell us about the hostess clubs. What are you talking about? You want me to embarrass myself in front of a fan? Here's the thing. Entertainers have to be responsible if they want to get hired back. Fulfilling your assignment is paramount. Keep up the spoiled brat act, and I'll see to it you never darken the doorstep of our publishing house again. Alright. Hmm. Yes, I guess you could say that. Wonderful. I'm going to introduce myself. An editor for Casanova. Okay, it's a magazine. The thing is... Articles about him, clubs, Jewel and Shine, West, hard time hitting it off with the girls. Okay. A little info, sure. I'll pay you for your time. Okay. Yes. Sure. All right. Kuzbar Camarocho. Yes. Sure thing. I'll see you later. Okay. Let's look at. Let's go around. Pick up those other two, and then we'll make our way back to the. to my office. Is it this. going down this way? Yep. Okay. There's Bantam. I give up. Okay. Yes. Iron plate. Thank you. There we 
we got a couple more side stories to pick up. Working hard, don't be slacking off. Hey there, boss. Don't, hey there, boss. I mean, all these girls walking by, you gotta talk to them. Like that one. Ah, some of the club got her. I'm just not cut out for this job. What? Quitting already? It's your choice to make. But you're being a little hasty, don't you think? It's just that nothing's going right. I'll call out to some girls and she either glares at me or ignores me altogether. How many leads did you get? How many phone numbers? You gotta be kidding. One? I'm not too happy about it myself. I think I can understand how you feel. Want to be a hostess like that? Hmm. She says she's a nurse. Ah, come on. Why not? Give it a shot. I don't blame them for giving you the stink eye. Maybe it was fate I saw you here today. I'll give you some basic lessons. Huh? You mean you can scout, boss? What kind of idiot do you take me for? I tried my hand at all kinds of hostess club jobs before I came to own on myself. Nobody comes to work anyway. This is a trick to getting rich. Now it's time for you to take that first step. Come with me. Yep, now get moving. Seriously? Okay. First rule of scouting. Never let a girl pass you by. Okay, proof positive. You're playing hooky instead of working. Okay, can you walk out? How good are you really? You seem confident enough. I get the feeling your skills are pretty rusty. Give me five minutes. Tell me how many leads I could score in that amount of time. Okay, I noticed. Ouch. Fine. All right. Now hold back. How about three times the leads I pull in? That's three people. You need three leads to win. Fine. Okay. All right. Sure. Let's do it. Huh? Yep. Okay, sorry to bother you. Hey, lady. Mm hmm. I don't like that time is running down as I'm talking. Come on. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay. I gotta beat him up and then maybe she'll join me. There we go. Okay. Alright, alright. Good, 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 good. Got a lead. Perfect. What about you? Yikes, okay. Not her. Sorry, I'm just like fumbling through this, but... Time is a ticking. Gotta lead. Woo! Alright. Come on, scoot, 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 scoot. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, my bad. Come on. Alright, now I gotta beat this guy up. Here, How about you. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
blew my I blew it there. How about you? Mm hmm. Yes, this just might be your dream job. Okay. Boom. I got my three. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Eh? I need to pay attention. Time doesn't, yeah, doesn't count down when you're fighting. Sorry. Yes. He'll be fine. Alright. Here's my card. Gotta leave. Phew. Okay. There we go. Eh? You managed to get four? Really meant, you really meant business up there. Okay, I gotta go and give everything I got. Okay. Yes, learn from the best. Good job. Yep. Okay. Alright. Excuse me. What's going on over here? What's with him? He better not be stalking my girls. Hey, what are you doing? Whoa. Uh, nothing. You were sneaking a look at something. Sneaking a look? No, I was just waiting for somebody. There she is. You mean Miki? Do you know her? Sure, I own this place. And who might you be? A stalker, perhaps? No, no, nothing like that. I just wanted to see her. Are you one of her customers? Uh-huh. Why not just go into the club, then? I've sent more than 5 million yen here over the past two years, and it looks like my money's finally run out. 5 million yen? That's right. I was this close to winning her over, too. If 5 million wasn't enough, that'd be time to call it quits. Also run a loan office called Sky Finance. Yeah? Look, the way things are now, you got a snowball's chance in hell of going out with Miki. Even with another million yen, unless you make some changes, you could see her ten more times and still get absolutely nowhere. You need more than just money. Okay. Meet me in front of the Millennium Tower. Okay. Yes. Yep. Come all decked out in your lady killer best. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Jeez. What's the matter? I was going to buy some stomach medicine from that drugstore. Oh, okay. I can do that. Thank you for conveniently being right there. Well, feeling better? I think I'm over the worst of it. Nearly 20. You must really love it. It's my job. Okay. Truly appreciate you stepping in. To help upon seeing me squirm like that, thinks a million. Uh, yes, and now we'd like to introduce the best of Kamurocho in the Japanese edition of the guidebook. Uh, yep. You eat so much at once. Sure, they say an empty stomach is the best condiment. So simply knowing a lot about food isn't enough. Impressive. Thank you very much. I'm embarrassed to admit, however, that Japanese food is my area of expertise. Just been wondering blindly from restaurant to restaurant. It just proves I need a local to point me in the right direction. 
Well, when it comes to spending money on food, I'm not exactly what you call frugal. Excellent. Would you be so kind as to tell me about some of the better restaurants you know? Okay, really? Thank you so much. Could you first tell me what your favorite? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. They prefer selection that are not only tasty. Uh, okay. Earth Angel. Mm. Okay. All right. My favorite. Uh, well, let's go back to the office. I can upgrade my abilities. I guess let's just get all the ones out of the way. And then I don't have any more. Okay. Okay. Well, let's fight. Street punks. Way. Oh my gosh, the crowds. What do you have to say? Uh huh. Back to the office, Tom, is it? Okay. I'm gonna do this and then I'll start going back to the story. Hmm. Well, you know, can't stroll around town forever. Do you have any work for me? I took care of all the paperwork, so I know. Could you please clean up your desk area? There's just so much junk everywhere. He doesn't want her cleaning. Okay, I get it. Bummer. Excuse me, is this guy finance? You have a customer? Tell me about your situation. Okay. This office certainly is dirty. Can you really conduct business here? You should have seen it before we tied you up. Okay. How much do you owe? Uh, five credit card companies and four loan sharks. 10.3 million. I see. Must be hard paying it off when it's spread all over like that. Why did you borrow so much exactly? I wanted to invest in myself for a nice clothes, carry the latest accessories, and date good men. I can't have anyone, anybody taking me lightly. I may have borrowed some money, but it's only because I'll be earning millions one day. Well, that sound... That... That's some sound logic, but it seems to me you might have rushed things a little. Maybe so. As long as you understand that, you should be fine. First, I recommend cons consolidating all your loans and coming up with a repayment plan. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Yes, of course, we do loan consolidation. What? No interest. 
That's nothing for you to worry about. Or would you prefer to pay interest? Oh, I get it. You have some kind of conditions, don't you? Like, I have to sleep with you? Well, that sounds great. But no, you're a little off base. All I ask is that you take a test. A test? Yep. Pass the test and I'll consolidate your debts. No interest, no collateral. So what kind of test are we talking about? I have one million unit here. I'm going to give it to you. And then it'll be your job to decide how to spend it. Huh? I just have to spend one million yen? Pretty much. So what do you say? All right. Use every last yen of this one million. I'll be back when it's gone. See you then. Chief, are you sure about this? It's a million yen you just gave her. I gave it to her, yes, but then again, I didn't just give it to her. And yet, yeah, you were reluctant to give me a bonus. Oh, uh, look, this is a test to see how Shoko-san Shoko spends her money. It's hard to spend borrowed money, but when it's a gift, the sky's the limit. One's spending habits can give you a pretty good idea of one's character. Hanachan, if somebody gave you money, you'd make a beeline for the dessert buffet. That tells us you're a foodie, right? Well, yeah, I guess, but I really admire Shoko-san wanting to move up in the world. Now I just want to see if she can see past today. With all that yen, I suppose she should pay down her debt. That's one way to use it. It's much better than spending on a bun bunch of junk. Where do you think she'll go? For designer goods, La Marche. For good, for food, Sushi Jin. And for fun, the host club, Adam. That would be my guesses. Could you give those places a call and tell them to try to get her to spend money? Okay. But you know something, Chief? You really are a bad man. It is a test. I have to make it challenging, don't I? Thanks, Hanachan. I'll go see how she's doing. La Marche and Sushi Jin. Oh, and that host club, Adam. Where's Adam again? Near the center of the hotel district. Ah, that's right. Okay, I'm off. Let's go, let's go continue the story. And then I'll just like stumble into this stuff as they happen. This is where I'm supposed to meet up with Keto Chan. I guess I should start stairs. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Ari, Ari Anaka, Aniki really did it, huh? I couldn't believe it either. Uh, I was too smart to get trigger happy. And nobody's seen him since. Nope. I don't know if the cops around him yet, but he killed that creep right there in the middle of town. It's only a matter of time before they figure it out. How are you holding up? You said you found Kanemura, right? Yeah, right after I lost those uh, guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
I never got through, uh, wound up reporting the boss's death myself. Must have been rough on you. Apparently, he got stabbed in the back. No real sign of a struggle. That's not all, though. The cops think the killer might be a woman because of how they found him. A woman? Yeah, his shirt was off, and there were traces of lipstick on his neck and lips. This, so this girl came in promising action and gave Kaimura more action than he bargained for. That's what it looks like. Still, something doesn't add up. It's just, well, what's up? When I got back to the office, it was completely empty. It just doesn't happen ever. You usually have one or two boys keeping an eye on things. Not only that, but... I don't know. The boss never seemed like the kind of guy to fall for that kind of trick, no matter the girl. He didn't really ever talk about women or anything. I hear you, but you never know. The police are right. She must be one hell of a woman. You ever heard of a femme fatale, Yudo-chan? A very specific kind of woman. She might not be the most gorgeous girl in town, but, she can't, but you can't deny that there's something special about her. And just when it seems like you've got her, she suddenly decides to keep you at arm's length. So that only makes you want her more. And before you know it, she's the only thing you can think about. Maybe you'll find one of your own someday. Can't say I complained. Enough about that, though. First things first. We got work to do. Yep. <笑>あんだいつ。しばたくみの手先だろうよ。きっとお前か俺の身柄が必要なんだ。なあ、そうだよな。ど、どういうことですか、秋山さん。ねえ、兄さんよ。俺らの首持ってったって上の世話が納得
See ya. All right. Ugh. Okay. Yep. Your reputation. I think you're so funny. Okay. No kidding. Tell me something. They as tough as you? Yep. Perfect. What do you mean? You'll see. Uh-oh. やべ。Oh. Yeah. Oh no. No. Uh. Uh. I'm not good at. Okay. Okay, so it's giving me... Quick turns can be used during chase events as a technique to round corners without losing speed. Alright. What? You can leap from one building. Okay. Wow, that goes fast. Okay. All right. Did I, did I make it? Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't bad. Those are just going to get harder and more annoying. I got a little bit of time. Let's get into this chapter. How'd your little session with them go? Yes, yeah, so don't get me started. Really puts the dick in detective. What? But hey, if I were over 40 and still stuck as a beat cop, I'd probably have a chip on my shoulder too. You think that's all it is? You think it's not? I don't know. It kind of feels like he's like obsessed with you and Ariane Aniki or something. He kept grilling me about how you two met. And he wouldn't shut up about wanting to know about Kanemura's loan terms. Doesn't that seem kind of weird to you? I guess. 
Why are you throwing your weight around? That's my little secret. Come on. You can tell me. Maybe when you're older. Akiyama. Mmm. No pressing business right now. Maybe I'll take a little stroll. Sure. Oh, that didn't take long. Stop it. Okay, don't worry. Someone help. All right, I'm gonna beat these guys up. It's a nice jacket. Okay. I'll treat a broad however I want. Who the hell do you think you are? Let's pan the camera to the fight. Okay, miss. Oh, she ran off. Well, hello. Well, I was observing your scuffle there, and I can see your physical potential is through the roof. Did you used to play any sports? Not really. Pretty sure the last time I kicked a ball around was in middle school, so then it's just natural talent. Understood. My name's Saigo. I run an operation in this general area. What kind of operation? Do you know about the looming crisis Japan faces? A crisis. But frankly, peace addiction. Nowadays, all people in Japan can think about is peace. In my youth, I fought as a mercenary, mostly in the Middle East. I've seen many breathe their last friend and foe alike. It was then I realized an astonishing truth. In this world, anything can happen anytime, anywhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I get it now. You're a soldier. Someone as strong as you must realize how everything in this city is putting themselves at risk. Same goes for you. Okay. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Hey. Those are the keys to my office. Give those back. You may be a good fighter, but your senses are as dull as a doorknob. Did you set that up? Cut me some slack here, man. We just met. A strong individual like you should have no problem chasing him down, but you better get moving. Who knows what'll happen if you let him get away. See, I knew it. Ugh. I hate these. too bad right now. That was good enough for you. Looks like you've got a strong set of legs. Sorry, but your praise is less than flattering. Can I go now? Wait, I have to talk to you about something. Let's head to the roof. The roof? Could you just act normal for one second? There's a key up there. I need to get that key.
So what did you want to talk about? The name's Akiyama. Seems like you get into fights nearly every day. Well, I wouldn't if I had a choice, but that's just the way things have been working out. It's clear you have a strong talent for fighting. Uh, okay, so he's going to teach me some new abilities. Okay. Alright. This is very talky. Dash kick. Okay. Yes. Okay. So come back. Okay. Alright. What? Why me? Eh, I guess it's natural to be curious. It's hard to explain, but there is a reason why I chose you and only you. I'll tell you more if you agree to come back. Okay. I'll stop by whenever I have the time. Okay. Perfect. Keep me on the roof. Yes. There's a key. Somewhere. I've seen it flashing in that cutscene. What? Okay. Let me pan. No flashing. No flashing. Huh. Wait. Is there multiple? Oh. Well, this just goes. No idea where I'm even going. Oh, here's another roof. Can I go up the ladder? No. Hmm. Well, this is different. Yeah, this is just going, going. Okay, well, that was silly of me to assume that there's just, like, one rooftop. There's a whole... Whoa! Alright. Well, that's nice. So, ground floor. Well, let's go down. like my map. Sure, let's upgrade our abilities. Double kick. Sweet. Why is like my map gone? My little mini map. That's weird. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Going back to the office. Okay, well, I guess I'll get to a fight first. Hmm. There's that new move I just learned. Oh. Sword. Give me that sword. It's not a good sword. Strong, all right, just like I thought. Here, take this silver plate. I'm sure, all I do with those is just like sell them. Oh, we need to go this way. Is there a button? No. Oh, duh, there's my mini map. Was that there the whole time? Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, no, okay. I did click a stick in. There we go. Okay. What's it say? I don't have any pressing matters right now. I guess I'll walk around town and come back to Sky Finance when I get bored. Okay. You know what? This is probably... This is... Okay, well, we'll get to another fight. <clears throat> oh, we got a lot of people. Oh, you know, you're bored. And your hammer. Oh, there's a key. All right. Sweet. All right. Why is everybody looking up? Sushi generally is the best in town. Okay. She may have just failed the test. Let's see what the chef has to say. Hi, welcome. I think you got a call from Hanachan, right? So how did Chokasan do? I have some great I have some great tuna today, so I recommend the she daily special pork woman away. How much is the special? 980,000 yen. Wow, cheap. Can I have one? She's a little off today. She'll only eat me, you know, her pricey stuff. What's going on? So I guess she hasn't touched that million yen then. Make her spend money. Hey, is this another one of your tests? Something like that. Thanks for your help. Okay, cool. Does it look like she spent her million? Okay, where is she headed to now? Who knows? I figured I would just stumble around town and run into her. Camarocho is just not that big, so... Let's find a save point. Let's get into this fight. He looks like he wants to fight. Yep. Some heat actions, after using it many, many times, you may discover a new additional technique. Technique. Oh. Okay. Too 
between them both flying. No more, I was joking. Alright. Uh, let's go this way. Do I have any question marks? No. I don't like people to talk to, but I just, I think it's just, yeah, it just seems like it's just nothing. Or maybe I'm picking up clues for other things. Um, okay. Her game's dead, so. Hmm. That's 7.15. I should probably start wrapping this up. Let's find this save point here. Well, let's talk to these people real quick. <clears throat> okay. Top notch girls at Ellipse. Alright. We're going to introduce cosplay. Uh, let's turn in that key. Where's the lockers are in here. Got us a children amulet. Okay. Talk to these people. Yeah. Just doesn't seem like anything. It's just talking. Oh. Get some experience from this guy. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay, let's let's save it. We're in chapter three. Save. And I think we are gonna be done for the day. So stuff's happening. I'm already liking this a lot more uh, than Yakuza three. I like I like this guy, I like what he's doing, I like the story that they're telling, so Thank you all so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow morning for some more Yakuza. Thanks, and have a great day.